What is up guys, it is DMG here and today we are going to be doing something we actually have not done uh, on this channel and that is taking a look at our football manager saves. It's something I do mostly on stream but it's also something that I want to continue off stream so I can get through as many seasons as possible. So football manager is obviously a football simulation both on PC and on Xbox, however PC is the only thing that has the actual full game in it such as you know the staff, the training, um, you know talking to your players, literally throwing water bottles at them and things like that but for our team we've actually uh, we've actually created a team right we've created a team which is actually really cool fully torqued fc fully torqued football club and along with that we've actually created you guys and put some of you guys into the team so jackalant Dwin, alec uh drippy msg johan Knowles, etc right we've made a lot of players and along with that if you guys want to get involved we can replace the names of real life players with you guys so for example uh this guy Jernade mead right here i can go ahead and edit um you know his personal details and i can change his name to whatever I need it to be for you guys, right? So again, if you guys want to get involved, come on in and absolutely do it. It's something that's very, very fun. You can do all of these tactics. It's very in-depth. It's very realistic. It's a lot more in-depth and more realistic than FIFA career mode, um, which, you know, can be good and bad because it's a little overwhelming at first, but at first, um, you know, once you get into it, it is very, very fun. You know, if you guys want to take a look, we are currently first in the fourth tier of England. Uh, we are three points ahead of Bolton around halfway through the season so far, and we're doing very, very good. So hopefully we we can kind of keep this up so obviously i wanted to do this to show you guys to get you guys involved but i also want to continue this as much as possible so then you know let's say when football manager 22 comes out we're not just you know only three seasons in we're a lot of seasons in we can continue to do this and continue to you know build more with this team so we were actually going to go play a game against exeter so going into um our team here i'm actually going to change something real quick in our tactics i'm going to take msg out because he is tired i'm going to put in frank here and i think that is going to be it because unfortunately you know Joanne is only two stars he's not that great but you know bobby thomas is a little bit tired uh because we've been playing so many games so yeah we're gonna see what we can do here we have switched around formations a lot um, we're currently doing the right that three at the back three four um one two and it seemed to be working i think so hopefully we can actually continue this. But again, right, so we can do some of the, you know, pep talks here, right? We can get motivating with, you know, pump the fists and, you know, saying that we have faith in everyone. I have faith in you. Go out there and make a difference. Every, like a lot of people looking at expired. Everyone's looking motivated. So please, please, for the love of God, work here. I'm begging you. So this is what's looking right now. All right, Johan, long throw. We know we are, we're a long throw team. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. He's going to pass it. He's going to pass it. And that's going to be a goal, isn't it? Jack with a huge save. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Yeah, Jack, that's nuts. I'll get it out. Alec, good header out. Can we get someone, please? Knowles, beautiful. He's our top playmaker. Huggins, what can you do? He's on loan. He's a loany. Penalty? That's got to be a penalty. It is. It is a penalty. We've been so bad with penalties this season. Genuinely. we. I think we've missed our last three or four in game. Can we please just score one? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, so we're up 1-0. It has the expected goals as well, which is pretty good. Obviously, uh, the penalty was the biggest expected goals thing. Um, that's a decent clearance. Can we get anything from that? Mead? Oh, come on. That's going to be better. Juin, good header out. The man is literally 6'9". Someone created a 6'9 player for me. Connor Allen, that's the biggest block i've seen and again our expected goals go up we should have scored there but we score on the long throw jernade mead beautiful we are dominating this game dude the three at the back i'm telling you three at the back with a libero in the middle oh my god it's it's gorgeous it is gorgeous i'm a tactical mastermind and to mead good what can you do johan the long throw of dreams finds a great pass out to drippy martin connor allen that's that's got to be better that's got to be a goal, honestly. I don't think that's the highlight. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Long shot? Long shots are like penalties in this game. Goal. That's what happens when you miss a 1v1 chance there, Connor, you idiot. Currently halftime. I think we're doing okay. Um, honestly, we need to be doing a little bit better, at least offensively. There's you know, still room for improvement. There's much more to come from you. Connor, Johan, Elise... 
Ooh, Knowles finds Drippy well. <laughs> what? God, dude, we are so susceptible to counterattacks all the time. It is the absolute worst. Please, no. No penalty, Johan. Why? There's. It's always one player that destroys us. Please win this. MSG, beautiful way to be there. Mead, we, we need a fourth here. We actually really do with how poor our defense is. We really do need a fourth. Mead, Johan, beautiful ball. Again! Drippy with the second! Oh my god, the king. The king of this team. He's so vitally important. He's not really that good skill-wise. He really isn't. But he's like the only one who can play that right mid spot really, really well. He's the only one that's a very good right mid and it just sneaks in. That's what we needed. And if this is not the epitome of FIFA here, right? It was a pretty close game. They had two shots on target, two goals from it. We have an expected goals of three, and we scored four. They had they had theirs less than one. They scored two, right? So again, like we dominated, we did. We just needed to be a little bit better defensively, and I think we'll be okay. At the end of the day, we get the win. Outstretched arms, a good win, boys. We'll take it. A four-two win. Um, you know, and again, that that, that gets us our, our lead more on top of the table. Hopefully, Bolton can drop some points. Okay, we play Morecambe away. They're twenty first, but away games are so so scary when we when we actually do it. I'm I'm really nervous about that. Bolton lost. Oh my god, that's actually huge. We're six points up now. Oh my god, finally they drop points. They finally and they drop points at home. All right, honestly, I don't think we're gonna be changing a whole lot. I think it's going to be a relatively the same side. We put Thomas back in, Bobby Thomas, which is looking pretty good. Uh, we put MSG back into the starting lineup, which is also very good. I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. That's pretty much the team that we're going to be going with again. Again, we, we do need another win. This is this is a win that we really need to continue with. So go out there, carry straight on to what you were doing. Pump the fists. We always want to pump the fists. I got faith in all of you. Okay, everyone seems motivated. They're not inspired, but they're at least motivated, right? It's looking all right. Okay, it's maybe not a goal. Can we get the ball? Oh, they're going to go straight back in. Alec, good header out. We get it to Mead. Mead, what can you do? Come on. He's meandering down the wing. Connor Allen! Dude, 18 goals this season. He's so goddamn good. Connor Allen is our star man. If he, he's, he was hurt for like two weeks, I think, early on in the season. I think we won maybe one of those games. We only scored like two goals. This This man is the reason. This man is legitimately the reason why we are winning games. He is nuts. Drippy, what can you do? Gets 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 around, gets around well. Connor, lead. Oh my god, it could have been two. Could have been two back to back. Oh, that actually worked. All right, we're getting shots, right? We, we we're not really getting them on target, but at least we're getting shots here, right? That's that's kind of the that's that's the important thing. Let's encourage everyone. They did not like that. They don't like to be encouraged. Got it. Okay, again, like we're continuing. We're, do we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Alex looking really tired. We're probably gonna have to take him out. Again, see, I don't want him dropping down that far. Mead, good. What can you do for us? Mead whips it in Huggins. That's again, right there. That's what I'm talking about. We, we have chances. We just can't finish them. Uh, what we are going to do, like, I, I don't really think there's a whole lot we could do here. To be honest, I mean we like we're dominating, but we just can't get we just can't get goals. That's just kind of how it is. Johan, long throw, Mead, literally right at the keeper, man. And see, and this is what I'm saying, right? Like we did all right, we did pretty well, but if it wasn't for that one goal from Connor Allen, that one moment of brilliance from him, we draw this game that we should be winning here. So unfortunately, yeah, a good win. I don't really think it is. In fact, I think, yeah, I, I think that, you know, we can't come, we can't become complacent. We can't. It wasn't really that great. Now, luckily for us, Bolton actually dropped more points, which is fantastic. Now, Grimsby is climbing up the table as well, but again, right, that's seven points now. Bolton is a drop in games. Newport, I probably, I would assume, won. They did. Just another 1 0 win. But again, these are the games that we have to win. Let's do one more game here. I think I'm going to go with the exact same team I was literally just using. Because, I mean, everyone looks good. Everyone is in pretty good form. Obviously, Connor Allen leading with 18 goals. Like, for how it looks right now, I think I think we got to do what we got to do. Same team, same tactics, same everything. Get some goals. Let's get some shots. Okay, but no, please. Like, let's get some shots. Ooh, long throw. Long throw FC. Oh, fuck. 
No, no counter. No counter, no counter, no counter, no counter. Good, good, Drippy. Way to be back. Oh my god, he finds Huggins well! Let's go! Let's go, that's his tenth! The double digits! Huggins, double digits! Drippy! Oh, dude, Drippy's doing so well. Drippy is doing so, so well since coming back into the side. Genuinely. Look at this. Look at this pass. Picture perfect. Huggins, picture perfect shot. What does he do? Finds Johan. Who can Johan find? Finds MSG. MSG back to Johan. They have a good partnership in that midfield. Johan finds Drippy. Drippy! Oh, and that is one of the best blocks I have seen in this game. It was a very, very good link-up play. Very good play overall. And Johan has not done very well as a as a deep-line playmaker. So we're going to move him as a box-to-box. -box. We'll see how he does as a box-to-box -box midfielder, right? You can see his rating's not doing too well. He's got a 6.4. Again, we're going to try to bump that up a little bit. See if we can do better with him. Knowles puts in a good ball. Connor Allen and Drippy. It's Drippy. MSG. Oh, it was bouncing around in there. We get in the back of the net. That's all that matters. Oh, God, dude, I'm telling you. Like, we, we literally could not use this three at the back formation without Drippy. We literally, we could not. It would not be possible. So, thankfully, him coming back into the side, him being so... Oh, fuck me. Well, that kind of put a damper on things. Let's get a sub in here. Johan's going to stay on. I, he's tired, but I know he just hasn't been playing very well. I know that. And, yeah, look at this. Unfortunately, right, we just can't seem to really do anything. They have really shut us down the last few... Oh, good, Jack. They've really shut us down the last, like, 30 minutes or so. Genuinely, we haven't really had a good chance. We haven't had a good opportunity since our goal. Finds one bar streaking down. Who does he find? It's got to be something... That's a massive penalty. Jesus Christ. Lee Angle, can you give us a third? Give us a 3-0 victory here, please. We're, we're trash on pens. Oh my god. <laughs> Did very well against Stevenage. Five shots on target, right? 1.5 expected goals. And we managed to keep a clean sheet is insane to me. He's out for three to six weeks and because he was injured innocuously. Really? It just happened. He just got hurt. Honestly, this might be our best case scenario here. We might have to do something like this. I mean, I, I don't really have any other strikers to put in. I mean, Neil here is supposed to be a right winger, technically. He's been killing it at striker, so fair enough. But, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, this is not really looking like a good thing here. So that was going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Again, if you guys want to be included in this, if you guys want your names added in, just leave them in the comments down below. Check out some live streams. It is going to be in the description. The uh, Twitch is, at least my Twitch is going to be in the description. So take a look at that. Make sure to follow it. Turn on notifications so you guys know when we are streaming. But like I said, that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace.